This programme contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the beginning and throughout. Joy Show! Why not? You are a little bit cute. I'm a little bit cute. A little bit cute. Is that what you have to kill? Definitely not. <laughs> I'm really glad that Zaid is here. After I'll be putting in to whatever we were, it's nice to have a good looking distraction here. So how's your first day been? <laughs> how's your first day been with me being in here? It's been awkward, genuinely. What's happened is <laughs> me and Abby has been cracking on. Right, we... can I stop you there? Yeah. Have you got the feels for Abby? No, I ain't now. Does Abby have the feels for you? I'm not sure what's gone off. I do have feelings for Abby, but unfortunately, she ain't got them same feelings for me. Abby's sacked it off tonight. Right. She's ended things, whatever they were. We're only pals, me and Abby. What is Louis doing with Sahida? I thought him and Abby were a thing. I wouldn't have just gone up to you in front of Abby and been like, yeah, I do fancy her. Right. Louis and Abby are both my pals, and I really don't know what to do. Right, I need to talk to you. What? What's going on? They're fucking down on the bill, Terrace. Who is? Louis and Zahida. Louis spent last night in Abby's bed, but now Amelia is telling us he's cracking on with Zahida. Louis, mate. You should know by now, this isn't going to end well. That's disrespectful to Abby. Is she awake? No. What the hell is Louis playing at? He's trying to have his cake and eat it with Abby and Zahida so much for being the respectable one. I need to have a conversation. I don't want to be the one to tell Abby because I think she really likes Louis. I will happily have that conversation. But I just feel like Trust shit me. because he's going to think, where's this coming from? No. Because I won't say it come from you. I'll but he's going to know it's come from me. Hi. Here's one of my friends. Hiya. Hello. Speaking of the devil. I'm just having a quick piss. I know Amelia doesn't want to look too faced, so I'm not going to say anything now. But trust me, it's going to come out sooner or later. Felt like he interrupted something there. But there's a good looking girl waiting on her own outside. So I'm going to stay away from the drama. Louis and Abby have been getting on so well, I just don't understand why he would go off with another girl. I'm sitting here. All right, good night, Holly. Good night. When I first got the message from Sophie about the reunion, I was reluctant to come, but I'm so glad I did because I managed to clear the air with Holly. Well, the truth is out now, seven years later but it's here and I finally have closure. Charlotte and Sophie are going to be so shocked in the morning. Zida isn't who I imagined bedding down with tonight, but she is a nice girl. And if there's one thing I do need tonight, it's a cuddle. I've woke up early, and who's that looking all cosy on the sofa? Louis and Zahida. After the chat I had with Louis yesterday, it seems like us sleeping together is complicating things. We didn't share a bed last night, and maybe it is best that we give each other some space. I don't want to wake up feeling at him. It is hard to think that you were just a dream. Holly's hen do yesterday was absolutely amazing, but it's time for us to go home. Holly's got a wedding to prepare for, and I am very much pregnant and cannot keep up with this lot partying. Please don't. I've had the best time here, but I'm so excited to be heading home to see Jacob. But I do need to have a catch up with Charlotte and Sophie before we leave, because I need to tell them about my conversation with Kyle last night. God, last night was a lot. I had the conversation with Kyle. I need to know everything. We need to know gossip from the start to the finish. He was actually just being really honest about everything. And I went, the rumour 
with you and Chloe. Was there any truth to it? And he said, yeah. <gasps> You're fucking kidding. I never in a million years. This is fucked. Like, there was this reason that I couldn't get close to Chloe. I felt something in my heart, in my gut. Oh, my God, that whole time. Oh, I don't cry, It was just a relief. <laughs> Just oh. I always felt it and I felt stupid and I felt like a bit of a bitch for not being able to get this bond with her. And now I know why that was and I will never ever question that feeling again. It means a lot. Yeah, of course. To know that I wasn't. Of course I wasn't. I wasn't you. going crazy. Everything I thought was true. You were an amazing girlfriend to him. And he actually said you did nothing but love us. God, I'm still crying, you know, I can't stop crying. <laughs> I'm still crying. <sighs> I've cried so many happy tears. I've released the trauma and I just feel so relieved. I feel like I came away from that conversation just like, oh my God, like, I feel like we could actually probably Kyle, be friends. You know what? I'm proud of Kyle as well for coming in and admitting. That takes a lot of Is this going to affect? yours and Chloe's friendship mm. now. I'm not ever going to bring it up to Chloe, ever. No, no, no. There's no point. There's and Chloe's no in a point. bad place at the minute. Chloe was so young at the time, and I know better than anyone what it's like being seduced by the Geordie Shore boys. At the moment, she's gone through a lot, especially with her dad and things like that, and I just think it's better left in the past. I bet that whole time you were with him, you thought you were going crazy. I thought I was going crazy. And now you've got all this acceptance, you know, it wasn't you. It was never me. You weren't going crazy. And these boys always call us psychos, but we're not the psychos. It is such a good job we've had this reunion because we've managed to put a lot of demons to bed. We've made some amazing memories. Like we have. It's nice to not have the bad times at the forefront of my memory now. And I have be leaving here and thinking of Jodie Shaw in like such an amazing light. These girls are like me sisters. Jodie Shaw, I'm gonna be a complete slut and I'm gonna put out. We had the best times together. Where's all the these boys? Well, it's only cock. <laughs> we live together. I'm so glad I've got someone. You've got me. You'd always have me. Work together. <laughs> and tore up the tomb together. I know I went through a lot of shit. Don't fucking ever speak to me again. But made memories. <laughs> That will last a lifetime. Let's have one last <laughs> I'm not cool. <laughs> uh, the three sisters. 